first I had no choice but cut all of my idols Fighting battles but it's spiritual, I feel like I need Michael I'm ignoring everything if it don't come straight out the Bible huh? And I was taught to let it be If I just let go and just let God, ain't no upsetting me Shawty on my side, woman of God, she looks so heavenly And we don't even think about having kids until that wedding ring Proverbs 31 is all I ever need I got a lot to say now but I just tame my tongue cause it might actually bring me way down And I'm just speaking life and not no death cause that's the way out And seeking God and staying in my bed just like a spray ground I'm stretching out my head like Moses, can't split the ocean But in that water is my old sins, now I'm in motion I read my Bible and devotion, fixing up emotions And keep my Holy Father first cause he keep me the closest Yeah, ha, yeah, I ain't even mean to go that hard It's just the Holy Spirit speaking through me right now, I ain't gonna lie Yeah, you know what I'm saying, you just gotta listen and be obedient be able to get a word, so that's what I say. Uh, Holy Spirit coming to my life, I need revival. God first, I had no choice but cut all of my idols. Fighting battles, but it's spiritual, I feel like I need Michael. I'm ignoring everything if it don't come straight out the Bible. Huh? And I was taught to let it be. If I just let go and just let God, ain't no upsetting me. Shawty on my side, woman of God, she looks so heavenly. And we don't even think about having kids until that wedding ring. Proverbs 31 is all I ever need. Uh, bro told me he got a bad chick. I say, do she pray or follow God? If not, she average. And I the judge, most of these people like to live in lavish. Went up in heaven, even with no money, we'll be married. Huh? And Jesus say, Don't worry about no clothes, so I stop popping tags. I only look ahead, cause I know angels got my back. I wanted to be first, but I ain't gonna care if I end up in last. Cause I got God, so any battle, I'm gonna win that match. For real. You're not working like this, bro. This shit ain't easy. Come on, so. Alright, so oh, bro, I haven't been to Jersey Mike's in so long, bro. And I forgot there was a Jersey Mike's over here. But we at TCNJ right now. We're gonna go get a hoagie. I'm starving. And then we're probably gonna walk around the campus and see if we can find somebody cut their hair for the low ski. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Cause these barber prices are outrageous. I don't know who the heck is paying 55, 60 dollars for a cut. What you drink? I know I'm not. What you drinking? You probably got my Mr. Fitness Bowl. Chill out. Yeah. What you getting, bro? I'm gonna just do 16 to 16 to chicken Philly John. Chicken Philly John, that's on fire. That's on fire in a lot. I had that been in school. I'm probably gonna go with that. That's gonna go crazy. What was on the 16? Regular size? Yeah. That's the regular size, right? Yeah, I'll do the same drill he did. Yeah, that's a little Italian brand. Okay, and why I got this bread, they be top 10. They ain't got this bread though. It's that bread right here. You got a little car, uh, that's a little Italian brand. Got some chips, what you talking about? Right here. What do you got? Right, that's a Philly drum. That's a 16 right there. You know what I'm saying? This is, I've never been here. Signature drum though. Fine. Well. Too late. No homo. Like, Look how far this the dude like. Shoulder work. Mm -hmm. We don't even go on this joint. I'm like, yo, we freshmen. We just freshmen. trying to check out the campus. You about to commit. Where you guys I'm the running back. University of Nebraska. <laughs> <laughs> you guys from University of Nebraska? Right, right. You know what I'm saying? Yo, y'all see the, uh, you know, you know, we know Marvin St. Harrison Jr. Yeah, that's my boy. <laughs> I'll text him right now. I got a boy named Marvin in my phone right now. <laughs> it's like, the FaceTime him. It's a white boy. Hey, it's, oh, it's a, nah, he, uh, he, uh, I don't know, if he, I don't know what he is. Okay, that's cool. I'll try that. I'll do, I'll do two chocolate chunks. Mm -hmm. yeah. You might get some too, guys. I'm not getting nothing. Go, all right, I'm eating more. I don't want a cookie. Oh, you gonna give me a chocolate chip drink? Yeah. Chocolate chip drink. So as far as like, I can get one big drink. Oh. Um, <laughs> We going. YouTube, welcome back to another video, man. Today, I'm gonna tell you guys four major points that helps you get to the next level, whether it's professionally or, you know, college, high school, whatever you wanna do. But this video, we're mainly speaking about professional. First thing is, you guys already know, man, I graduated in 2022 in college. I went to a Division three school, Lebanon Valley College, which is in the MAC Conference, which is the Middle Atlantic Conference. So we play most teams like Del Valle, like Coming, Albright, all those teams like that. So I played in a pretty, you know, competitive, you know, conference and things like that. You know, I had a good college career, things like that, and it allowed me to have 
have that, that platform to you know go to the next level. So the first major thing that I would say to make it to the next level, man, is college is, is, is really, really major. You know what I'm saying? If you go to college, especially if you're in college right now, it literally helps you out so much, uh, especially for the coaches that are, you know, in the pro leagues, you know, that, that are looking down. They really look at, they highly look at guys that are in college. So if you're in college, you know, either junior college, whatever division college that you're in, that is the easiest way to get, you know, to get looked at, especially in the next level. But college is not entirely the main portion of how you get to the next level, man. You could also, which is in the next point, man, it's good in front of coaches, man. Go to try out. If you're an uh, athlete, you know, you have athleticism, you think like that, man, you got your real skilled player, man. Just go go in front of the tryouts, see all the coaches, get your name out there, and just perform in front of the coaches. And yeah, man, hopefully you let that get invited to a camp. But either that, man, just go to a lower league. This is my third point, man. Find any lower league that's in your area, semi-pro, any flag football teams that are really competitive, but heavily, you know, with, with semi-pro, there's a lot of semi-pro teams out there. So get your get your name out there, and a lot of them teams has film. So if you can get in front of those uh, semi-pro team and get a, a spot on the team, you actually are balling out. You just collect your film and just start sending them out to coaches, man. Send them out to coaches, get your name out there, tell them who you are, where you're from, and things like that. And, and you know, that'll be an easy way to get yourself out in front of professional coaches, man. And the last point is you have to advocate for yourself, man. Like really, I'm big on advocating for yourself. Uh, it just shows a lot of professionalism, especially to the coaches. It shows that you, you, you're you highly interested in playing the next game. You know, you have passion, you have love for the game. So me personally, I don't have an agent right now. You can have an agent at the level that I'm gonna be playing at, but you don't need one, it's not recommended. So what I did was I advocated for myself. You know, I went to a different tryout and I didn't make it, but you know, I just kept sending my stuff out to coaches, sending my film out to coaches. I have, they had reached out to me. You know, they, they sold a lot of interest in my game. They like what they saw. And uh, one coach actually, when I before, after I graduated college, the same team that I signed with, they actually, uh, I sent my stuff out to them and they just left me on scene. But you know, everything happens for a reason. You know, everything's God time. And so they actually hit me back. I was like, yo, like, we like your stuff. We like what you do. And on, on, the, on defense side, man, we're going to bring you in. And they actually, you know, gave me a contract, you know, and I was able to sign. So we'll be heading up there to Omaha, Nebraska in March. And you guys, if you guys seen the last video, you probably already know because yeah, the last video is going to pretty much just tell everything. So I check the last video. I'll go check it out. I'll put it at the end of the video. But yeah, we'll be heading to Omaha, Nebraska in March. So I'm actually highly excited. But yeah, those are my four major points on how to, you know, make it as a professional athlete. And you guys can take this. You guys can roll with it. And you guys can implement it in your game, implement it in your life, you know, your career and things like that. So it's not even have to, you know, entail with just sports. It could just entail with anything life, you no know, businesses, you know, getting a job, you know, just advocating for yourself, you know, putting yourself out there, you know, meeting people and things like that. So those are highly, highly important. That helped me in my journey. And I hopefully, you know, what I, you know, put out to you guys today in this video, I hope it helps in your journey as well. So yeah, man, I'm, I'm, I'm appreciate you guys tapping into this video, man. I know uh, this was a quick one, but I um, hope you guys, you know, enjoyed it. I hope you guys take, you know, a little bit from the video, information from this video. And uh, yeah, man, implementing into your career, man. I hope you guys, you know, be able to achieve your goals, whatever you want to do in life. So I'm gonna catch you guys later. I'm not gonna end the video right now. So we'll catch you guys later. And then, yeah, man, appreciate y'all guys tapping in. Love y'all guys. Oh, what's going on, man? We are actually headed to, oh my God, this looks, this looks clear. This looks good. But now we are actually headed to the gym right now, but we actually went on train today. Don't have my tripod, nor do I have a cameraman. So it's just gonna be just straight me locked into the workout. I'm not gonna really record anything. Uh, you guys already seen the workout in the beginning of the video. So I hope you guys uh, took something from that. But yeah, we are headed there right now. And then after that, we're gonna head to the barbershop and see if we can get a couple hours in, see if we can, you know, catch some clients, some new clients, things like that. So yeah, man, it's gonna be a pretty, pretty interesting off season right now. Just, you know, everything going on. We got a lot, a lot of stuff going on. I'm pretty much busy every single day, all day, just busy, constantly doing something. I wanna keep myself just constantly, you know what I'm saying, doing something. I don't wanna just like, you know what I'm saying? Just like not have anything, you know, accomplished throughout the day i don't want to be sitting at home so that's why i'm like constantly on the go man I'm, I'm tired but it's just it's something that we're just gonna have to deal with for right now you feel me to everything you know what i'm saying starts kicking back up but i hope you guys are enjoying so far man i really appreciate y'all tapping in shout out to the new subscribers welcome to the fam if you're if you haven't already subscribed subscribe because it's free and uh yeah man you can stick along and come to the ride with us man i can't wait to take you guys through the whole process of the season next year you know uh coming into march i'm gonna be leaving i'm probably leaving like end of february so like the last week of february i'll probably be on the road or headed to you know omaha nebraska i'm not sure if i'm driving or flying yet my coach or the head coach said uh he read uh, you know, he recommends driving, but that's an 18 hour drive, bro. So I don't know, bro. I don't know, bro. But um, we gonna make a decision. You know, it's definitely up to God. You know, I'm gonna definitely pray about it. See what, you know, what's the best decision that he has for me and go from there, man. If I have to, if I have to drive and I'll drive, you know what I'm saying? Just 
you have to suck it up. But, you know, I'm going to definitely pray about it, and he's going to definitely lead me in the right direction. So, yeah, man, that's pretty much it. I mean, I got, yeah, I just can't wait to the season, man, get you guys, you know, day to life vlogs, game day vlogs, stuff like that. So, and I can't wait to meet, you know what I'm saying, the players as well, man. I, I see, you know, I follow a few of them on Instagram. They're you know, chill guys. So, I know one that I met, uh, we've been chopping up a little bit on Instagram. We're going to be getting a workout in soon. He's from Westchester area, so it's pretty much in my area. So, it's definitely dope to see guys that are in the area, you know, the schools that, you know, that I um, know personally and, and, you know, definitely keep in contact with him. So, that's that's going to be good, too, as well. So, it's going to be it's gonna be a fun season, man. I'm, 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 I'm really excited. And, uh, yeah, man, I can't wait to bring you guys to, you know, along with me. So, yeah, I'm going to get to the workout that we actually just arrived now. Gee, this is the this is the facility. I'm at, like, a little family fitness area thing. Uh, it's pretty, it's relatively cheap. It's, like, $15 a month, you know what I'm saying? So, it's relatively cheap. Uh, it's a, it's a good you know good starter gym for you know those who don't want to be in like the big crowd definitely a good gym for those kind of people um and it's definitely cheap so you're not breaking the bank but this is gym hope you guys can see it uh cc it says nirvana right there so about to get a quick workout in man and after that i'm gonna catch you guys later uh when we get back to the crib and show you guys what we are making for our post workout meal this this morning i had protein pancakes and the uh, pearl mill and company so i had those this morning had a coffee from wawa and then after the workout, I'm gonna show you guys a post-workout meal that I eat. The game, uh, the game muscle, and just keep you on your diet because I'm back on. I've been, I've been slacking a little bit on my diet. I ain't gonna lie, I've been slacking a little bit, but we back on, we back on. Uh, with it. So yeah, man, it's time to lock in. Next few months. Hope you guys can tag in with me. And I'm gonna catch you guys later. All right, so we just got back from the gym. It was a solid workout. It was like a pretty much an like upper body day. I did some, uh, some like explosive like stations afterwards. But we're back here. About to head to the barbershop soon. Right after I'm done eating. So what we have here. We got just just rotisserie chicken and then jasmine rice. I told you guys I was gonna show you guys what i eat after the gym while well, i started back eating but i slept on the rotisserie chicken it's just like six dollars from like walmart so if you ever like me personally i'm balling on the budget right now so there's nothing wrong with that so i just got a huge chicken for like huge half a chicken for like six dollars bro so it's like hella protein in there so you just it'll last you about you know two or three days you can just re-up or whatever but it works for me because i'm constantly on the uh, constantly busy doing something so especially my schedule had kicked up so that's pretty much going to help me stay on track on my diet be able to get the chicken already just cut it up throw it in some rice warm it up and then boom said so just cooking everything on the ball uh, on the stove gonna waste a lot of time so that's what we got right now then um yeah we're just gonna head to the shop but yeah i'm gonna see you guys when we get back yeah. Yeah, don't play. We don't play. We say say, but i really say yeah nigga stay your way because my mind drive you crazy yo i just i didn't know that was your baby yeah i just count this cash it ain't too much to say yeah i just get you fly like what more can i say yo she gonna treat